Hey everybody, Hunter Fisher, Trapper Trader, Guide Scout and Interpreter, and just the country cook, Steve Hall here in Nashville, Tennessee, along with pretty Miss Sheila running that camera. Hi, Sheila. Hi. Today we're going to do venison Philly casserole. And I got to tell you something. I got this recipe off of a TV show watching somebody that's from my hometown, Babe Winkleman. I think it's Babe Winkleman's Outdoor Secrets is the program. And his wife, Chris, cooks a bunch of recipes on there. And the one that kind of caught my eye because I had some venison burger I wanted to do something with, was this venison Philly casserole. Now, you know I'm from Nashville, Tennessee, but I'm originally from Brainerd, Minnesota. Proud to say part of a group up there in the Brainerd Hall of Fame. They put my little buddy Shotgun Red in the Brainerd Hall of Fame, if you can believe that, when I was on Nashville Now and Hee Haw and all those shows, along with Babe Winkleman, Al Linder, Guy Dowd, Teacher of the Year, a whole bunch of other people, but that's a real exclusive group so I want to say hi to all those people. Believe it or not, I've never met Chris, but I love to watch her cooking segments. So I'm going to show this recipe to all my YouTubers that may not have seen that on that show. So come on over and let's get started. Got to give credit where credit's due. Chris Winkleman's recipe here. One pound of venison burger. And I think she used two pounds in a bigger casserole dish because they probably got a big team to feed up there. But I only got one pound. I'm going to put in about a half a cup of onions in here, a little over a tablespoon of minced garlic, and I browned this burger up in about a third of a stick of butter and about three or four tablespoons of oil because it's so lean it just doesn't want to fry up without a little bit of help in there. Get this working. And I'm going to give it the magic four. And then now this i got to give credit to my dad, which is... Salt, pepper, you can use a half a teaspoon each one of these, garlic powder, and onion powder. He used that in just about every recipe I think he ever made. Onion powder, garlic powder, salt, and pepper. Let's get that working in there. And we're going to help these veggies get soft because we're going to incorporate them as well. Now in Chris's recipe she used some mushrooms in there and some peppers. Let them soften in there a little bit. And we're going to cook this and stir this for a good five to ten minutes help these veggies soften up some. I'm going to cover this up and reduce this to about low to medium for a little bit. We'll be right back. Now the only difference between Chris Winkleman's recipe and our recipe here is we're going to put in a splash of Shotgun Red's Touch of Sweet Wine. It's only available in Tennessee but you can look it up at shotgunredwine.com or there's a link from our shotgunred.com page as well. We're just going to put in a splash of this in here help create a little moisture and put oh boy does that smell good can you smell that coming up out of there that red wine that is so delicious sorry Chris I just had to do that one modification to your recipe I know I've never met you but you got some great recipes on your show well check them out folks at Babe Winkleman's Outdoor Secret. This is just about ready. Time to move this stuff into our casserole dish. See if I can dump this in here. Perfect. Boy, that wine smells good coming up out of there too. Even if it is our brand. Try to kind of get the veggies so all that color is kind of even all over there. Now, we're going to coat the top of this with some provolone cheese, kind of overlapping by about a third, all the way around this dish here. Man, I'm telling you what, once you make this recipe, you'll stop giving venison hamburger to the neighbors. You'll keep it for yourself. Perfect. Now, as Jerry Clower says, these are the wampin kind of biscuits. In other words, not homemade. Whoa, that walked on its own. Did you see that, Sheila? I'm telling you what, that baby was ready. I guess I took it out of the refrigerator. 
too soon. Now we want to smash these super, super thin, like this here. Really get them out there, almost like a pizza crust or something. I'm going to lay that on top. Wow, I've never had one of those pop open like that ahead of time, so that was kind of cool. All right, let's see here. I need to throw it up in the air, I guess. Well, we're going to coat this, cover the top of this with these biscuits smashed out super flat. Then we're going to bake this in the oven at 350 degrees for about 35 minutes until it gets nice and golden brown. And then we're going to have venison Philly casserole. I think we're looking... Good, let me stretch him over there just a little bit. And there you have it, ready to go in the oven, 350 for 35 minutes. We'll see you then. And look what just came back from the oven. Golden brown, 350 degrees. And ours was only 30 minutes because our oven could be different. Yours might be a little bit different, but the recipe calls for 350 degrees for 35 minutes. Of course, she's got a bigger casserole dish, but there you have it, venison Philly casserole. Well, don't you know, down inside there is that venison burger with some onions and some mushrooms and some peppers and some garlic and all kinds of goodies, a layer of that provolone cheese, biscuits on top, smash real flat, and even a splash of shotgun reds, touch of sweet wine. Chris, I never met you, but I watch your guys' show all the time. If you get a chance, folks, dial in to Babe Winkleman's Outdoor Secrets or just go to babewinkleman.com. You can check out a lot of those recipes, but we're getting ready to take a big spoon and a couple little bowls and dive into this. I hope you like our recipes. If you do, subscribe to our channel. Little Shotgun Red's face will pop up over here. Click on it, and then next to the subscribe, click on the bell, hit all, and then save. Then you'll get all of our recipes. We'll put another recipe up over here that we hope you enjoy. And is this the best Philly cheese casserole or whatever it was? What was it? Venison Philly casserole, wasn't it, Sheila? Yeah. Venison Philly casserole that was ever whipped up by Chris Winkleman and now here in our little kitchen. If it ain't, it ought to be. I just wanted to share it with all of our viewers out there, but I did want to give credit where credit's due. Good little recipe. See you next time. What'd you think, Sheila? It looks really good. I know it does. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.